Good morning, church. My name is Pastor Ed Mejia. I am the church planting resident here at Living Hope Church. And we wanted to take a moment this morning uh, to share an update with our church plant plans uh, as we move towards moving to Arizona. Uh, I, if you don't know me, my name is Ed Mejia. This is my wife, Maggie. And we are mom and dad to Olivia, who's nine, Elijah, who's 11, and Joseph, who is 20 and really, really tall. Um, and uh, and we're just we're just blessed that we've been able to spend these last two years here at Living Hope Church. It is home to us, uh, and we've been a part of this residency since the start of 2021. Um, and uh, so we want to give you guys a heads up on what's going on. Uh, we have prepared not just for these two years, but I would say maybe for more like five years. Uh, looking to grow and, and pursue this call to plant a church. Uh, we believe that God has gifted us, called us to teach the Bible, to preach the gospel, to bring people to see Jesus for who he truly is. Uh, and, and so that has been burning in us since we were young, <laughs> since we were in, in youth, and, and, and that's been developed all through these years. And, and so we were initially going to plant a church in Lancaster, PA, uh, but the Lord had to change the plans. And he says, no, I want you to go west. I was like, how far west? He said, way west, right? And, and so uh, we needed sun for health reasons, right? Uh, you know, uh, and, and, and so the beauty of it is that God did not remove that burning call, that burning desire to see people come to Jesus. And so when we went and we visited uh, Chandler or, or Phoenix, Arizona, uh, we got to, to get a burden for Chandler. Uh, Chandler is a city that is... Uh, about 260,000 people, about 65% of the population there or the demographic there is, is young millennials. Uh, and, and, and only 4% of millennials have a biblical worldview. And, and that is problematic for many reasons. There's people out there who have many ideas about who Jesus is. And, and we want to make sure that they know the truth, that they hear who Jesus actually is. We want to shine a light in dark places. And we feel like we're called to the middle. And, and, and whether they are in poverty and in Section 8 and in, in tough parts of the neighborhood or they're living in mansions, we believe the gospel is for both of them. They both need the gospel, and we want to give it to everyone. Amen? And so uh, the updates as far as the residency is concerned, it, it's been wonderful. And so I, I brought my wife up because I wanted her to also share, her to also share how this residency has been transformative to our family. Uh, honey, would you share what the Lord's been doing with us in these last two years? Thank you. Um, I get awkward every time, so um, God's been doing a lot, and when I say that this congregation, this family has been such a blessing to my family, um, it's just you, you get around a healthy community and God does things, mm -hmm. period. And so um, the family has been growing, the kids are in love with God, and our older son, Joseph, um, he's rediscovering new moments with God and he's rediscovering his faith and um, our life group. I absolutely love our life group and um, it's just been great. I can't, I can't say anything. I think we've been stretched in these last years, a uh, couple of years, and I think that there's way more stretching um, to continue to happen. Um, but the burden has definitely been growing for Chandler. And I find that Chandler, Arizona is on my mouth every single day. And um, I don't wanna get emotional, but um, I don't think that could have happened without this church. We needed to be here. And I believe it was ordained for us to be here for this season. And Pastor Tim and Karen have been so amazing. And um, I just, I love you guys. I know we don't talk like to each other every single Sunday, but um, this is such a healthy church, and we love you guys. Yeah. yeah, it's been transformative in our marriage. We've seen healing and growth. We, we've grown in our parenting and how we're leading our kids. Uh, I mean, I'm talking about to the most, like, most personal levels. <laughs> it's been amazing to see how God has brought so much strength to us. And so, yes, it has been a transformative two years, but the residency still continues. We're still in it. Uh, up until the end of the year, uh, and, and our family continues to be built up. Um, as, as of now, I'm, I'm still uh, working through Wayne Grudem's systematic theology. That's, like, been the longest homework I've ever had in my life, but 
it has been amazing and fruitful, and I've been enjoying the process. It's been good to be able to serve in different areas of Living Hope, working with, with Pastor Matt and the youth, serving with, with George in, in the worship team, and, and even preaching God's word. I, I've really enjoyed every bit of, of opportunities to serve here. And, and so uh, as, as of now, we are... Also, in May, we, we went through assessment with Acts 29, with, which is a church planting network that you heard about about a week ago. If you don't know, they basically focus on planting healthy churches that plant healthy churches. And so we went through assessment, and, and they helped us to find some areas of growth. And so we've been focusing on those areas of growth, and praise God, we have seen tremendous uh, growth in, in our health, physically, mentally, emotionally, our finances, our relationship, in every way. And uh, so that's what's been uh, amazing about this residency is that, yes, we are getting ready to go and plant a church, but the formation that has happened to us has been honestly, man, if, if that's all we got, it's everything. It's truly been so life-changing for us. And so, yes, uh, the plans. So let me, let me get to the plans already. Here's what's going on. We are going to be visiting Arizona in November with the whole family for the first time. Praise the Lord. We're taking the kids. And we're excited to be able to take the little ones. We've visited in the last two years, but the kids haven't seen it. And so pray for them. The job hunt has begun. Uh, and the housing hunt has also begun, so pray for that as well, because we want God to open doors. When we land in Arizona, I am going to have to work for at least the first year as we set some roots, as we make Chandler our home, as we connect with the neighborhood. You know, it, there's, there's going to be a lot of good in just getting into the workforce and connecting with the community, so pray for that opportunity to open up for us. And then, uh, of course, uh, we will be settling in in 2023. Uh, towards the end of 2023, uh, excuse me, all through 2023, we're going to be connecting with Anchor Church, which is another Acts 29 church who's partnered with us. They're ready to receive us. They're ready to host us. We've been connecting with them. It's been awesome to see even their desire to partner with us to plant a church in, in Chandler as well. And so we have the family of God ready to receive us over there, which is encouraging. And, and so as, as we are settling in all through 2023, getting connected, serving with Anchor Church, we're going to be prepared to start uh, sowing those seeds to be planting in 2024. And so I can't say enough about how great you have been, how generous you have been. If you do want more information, we do have a newsletter we're sending out every month with updates as we're getting closer and closer. And for those who have been giving, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, because you're not just sowing into us, you're sowing into what God is going to do in Chandler and the souls that are going to come and find healing and life in Christ Jesus for people who are going to get eyes opened up as they discover the truth of Jesus through the gospel. That's what you've been sowing into, and we're so thankful. And so if you are interested in giving, there are also ways to give, and we can give you that information. But again, we are excited and we're grateful for Living Hope Church, and, and that's what's going on. So please pray for us, and if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to come and ask us. We love you guys, and we thank you so much.